The thing about retriever breeds is that they are going to be mouthy. Obviously, there is a spectrum of mouthiness when it comes to retrievers. I've heard everything from my dog has never touched a single thing in his life to my retriever eight holes in our drywall. I have an almost two year old golden retriever and his mouthiness has by far been the toughest thing for us to try and overcome. He's a retriever. Like obviously he's going to be mouthy, but you also can't allow your dog to just shred your house to pieces. So I'm gonna share three tips with you guys that have really helped us prevent the mouthiness, mitigate the mouthiness, and and obviously we are nowhere near perfect. It is still something we struggle with literally every single day, but these things have helped significantly. Okay, so first tip is obviously prevention. So we make sure every single day that his retriever needs have been met. Everything from playing fetch, using a flirt pole, we love allowing him to shred things that he's allowed to shred. So I keep all of our cardboard boxes from shipments we get. I've let him shred like romaine hearts, stuffed animals. I also let him shred sticks at the park. He is really, really good good with not physically consuming everything and I know that's not going to be the case with a lot of dogs because he doesn't eat anything it does allow us to let him like really give in to that need to like really shred and be super mouthy it also wears him out so much so I love letting him do that also notice tug of war really really wears him out and again fulfills that need for him we do not do all these things every day okay I just try and make sure we have done like a decent amount of time letting him fulfill those needs also in the realm of prevention like making sure your house is very puppy proofed he's almost two years old and our house is still in full-blown puppy mode since like literally the day we brought him home nothing on the counters no shoes out no remote controls out no hand towels on the oven he is fully set up for success next tip i have which actually our breeder taught us when we were going through like a major mouthy phase with winston is when you are trying to get your dog to drop something or they're doing something they shouldn't be doing is immediately putting them into a sit this makes it so that you are not chasing them around the house with some item and they think you are playing with them it also is very helpful if they have something dangerous in their mouth that they shouldn't have after we have him sit we have him drop whatever he has. And it's actually gotten to the point lately, we've been really, really consistent that now when he sits, he knows I'm going to ask him to drop whatever he has. It's even been a few times he's just auto dropped something when I put him in a sit. Not all the time, it depends on the item. Some items are very, very high value for him and he does not want to give it up. And then of course you want to make sure you are heavily rewarding when they do drop something. My last tip, which is actually in my opinion, the absolute most helpful is retrievers really need a job. Like they are still a working breed. The thing that has helped so much with Winston's mouthiness is if he is being super, super mouthy, I will give you an example. He's obsessed with this chair in our living room out of nowhere. We've had it since he was a puppy. He's never cared about it until like two months ago. Every night when he starts getting a little witchy, when he starts getting a little overtired, he will jump up on that chair and rip all the cushions off and run around the house with the cushions. So what I have started doing with him, again, having him sit, drop it reward but then I immediately send him to place and have him relax on his place cot I used to sit there and battle him for so long where like he would drop it I would put it back and then he'd grab it again and then he would drop it and I'd put it back and instead of doing that cycle and almost like reinforcing that behavior he's just gonna spend time on his place cot until he can relax same goes for crating I've started crating him when I'm getting ready in the morning because a lot of times in the mornings he's hyper he's ready to start the day and he'll start pulling pillows off the bed even something as simple as like putting them in a sit or putting them in a down gives them a job in that moment. In that moment, they have to hold that sit or down instead of mouthing on whatever they are mouthing on. That helped us a lot when he was very mouthy with us. He used to jump up and like try and nip on our hands or our clothes and literally just asking him for a sit does not give him the option to mouth on you. So those three things have helped us significantly. Again, we are nowhere near where I wanna be with it. It is a struggle every single day there are days we do everything like i just said and he is still insanely mouthy out of nowhere also days he's really really good and doesn't get into absolutely anything just the joys of adolescence 